the question short. Mark Riley. Mark Riley, the Seven Network, uh, Senator Brown. Um, you must know you played right into the sweet spot of all the conspiracy theorists today with your support for a global parliament. Um, I'm wondering how you um, would see such an organisation operating. Are you talking about an inter international treaty organisation that might sign up to uh, collective commitments on certain issues or something that might legislate and then come into conflict with national parliaments? And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> A little bit of a self-interest. If it is going to be in Australia, can it be at Jarvis Bay? Because <laughs> that's where Canberra should have been in the first place, surely. Yeah, but Jarvis Bay is so beautiful. I'd like to keep that national park right like it is. And nuclear power station free, I might add. Uh, I was doing my Windsor knot uh, before I came here thinking of the House of Windsor. And, of course, they always get wound into these conspiracies, don't they? No, look, uh, uh, we are moving towards a, a globally informed... Uh, community that's got to live with itself. And we have always espoused democracy. I can tell you that the two moves the Greens have made for a global uh, democratic um, support for moves in the United Nations have been voted down by all other parties, both in 2002 and earlier this year. This is, this is conceptual. But I, I'm talking here about vision. Why should Australia? not be the centre of what is inevitably going to be a, a global parliamentary uh, governance down the line, if we human beings are going to live with each other on this marvellous planet of ours as we go on to the joyride, uh, joyride of the future. Of course we're going to have to make consensus decisions. And representative democracy, as Winston Churchill noted, is full of flaws, but it's the best we have. And if we're going, the point I was making, if we can invade Iraq uh, and perhaps Afghanistan in the name of democracy, surely we can peacefully get behind moves to have a global governance uh, on such things as financial tra transactions, which, with a Tobin tax, could put an end to poverty, really. Uh, it's a great prospect. It's not going to happen in my lifetime. But I'm very happy to be helping build up the concept. Lenore Taylor.